This is an introduction to omnifaceting, another meet point method for building gemstone geometry. Like CAM designs, Omni strategy also start by cutting guide faces to a point, and then cutting girdle faces to meet the guide faces. So the Omni could be considered a special class of CAM, though there are two features that distinguish the Omni from simple CAM designs. I'll use two of my designs, the CAM style cushion called Lightning, and the Omni styled cushion called Old Mine Omni to show the differences. Difference 1. In the typical cam, the guide faces are cut to the culet point using different angles. In the Omni style design, all guide faces are cut using the same angle. Difference 2. In the cam style design, a level girdle is created by cutting the girdle faces on the same indexes as the guide faces. In the Omni style design, at least some of the girdle faces are not on the same indexes as the guide faces. This requires adapter faces to level the girdle. Because the guide faces of an Omni are cut on a single angle and mast height, the pavilion of an Omni will be cone shaped. Because the guide faces and girdle faces are on different indexes, the girdle cannot be level without using adapter faces to stretch the mouth of the cone to fit the shape of the gem. Because of those two features, Omni designs are a special class of Baryon. Given the same basic shape and a similar number of faces, Omni designs usually require fewer angle and mast height adjustments and so usually cut faster and more easily than simple meat point or cam style designs. Now let's cut the old mine Omni. Step 1 is to make guide faces on an index of 6 and of 12 to a temporary culet point. Step 2 establishes the girdle by cutting at an angle of 90 on an index of 2. You can calibrate the size of the gem at this time. Adjusting the mast height upward, we establish the corners of the gem by cutting on an index of 5 to meet the junctions of guide faces with the first set of girdle faces, here. Once that's done, the basic shape of the stone is complete, but the girdle is uneven. To straighten the girdle, we'll cut adapter faces on the same indexes as those girdle faces on an index of 5, meeting the junction of the corner guide face with the girdle faces here. We cut the first adapter faces. To straighten the rest of the girdle, we'll cut adapter faces on an index of 2 and meeting at the junction of the first adapter faces here. Now that the girdle is even, we'll install the pavilion main faces. These will be cut at an angle of 42 on an index of 8. They'll be cut to a depth that meets the reference point created by the adapter faces and the guide faces right here. That completes the pavilion. After transferring the stone, the crown is cut in the standard way, building up from the girdle and completing to show a classic old mine style presentation. For more information about the Omni process, stay tuned to the Gemstone Artist channel on YouTube, or for hands on coaching, attend one of our faceting boot camps. Details of those classes are on the website, where you can also download GemCAD and PDF files of these designs at gemstoneartist.com.